In this video, we're going to take a look at how to associate and calibrate a TP series wireless probe using LMI's wireless utility software and a Micro Ridge Mobile Collect USB base. Now, before we begin, we need to make sure that we have our master bushing and our master block at the ready, as well as having the base plugged in to the PC. To start the process off, we're going to first put the probe in setup mode. To do this, we simply look at the back of the probe and push and hold the button in until we have a green LED flashing right next to it. When this green LED flashes, that means that the probe is in setup mode. We can then open up the software, click on the Find Base Unit button down here, and if we take a look at the, the base, we should see that the green LED in the lower right hand corner begins to flash. And this indicates that the base is in setup mode as well. So to transmit the data that's inside the probe, we're going to push the button and release it. And then we should see another screen pop up here in the wireless utility software. We get this message stating the wireless gauge is not associated. So in order to associate it, we're going to clear this pop up. We're going to push the associate gauge button. And then you'll see this green line creep all the way across the bottom of the window here. When it gets all the way to the bottom, you'll have another pop-up here that says the current wireless gauge is now associated with the wireless base station. So we click on OK. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to push and release the button one more time. When we do this, we should see that what's red here becomes green. And we should also see the grid populate with the gauge model, the serial number, and certain calibration info that's already stored inside this probe to get into the edit screen so we can calibrate and zero our probe we're going to double click on the gauge model which is TP and we'll give it a few seconds here when it switches over to the edit gauges window now in the window you'll notice that you have a testing window here that we can use and as we see we're moving around the end pin on the probe working different values here. So we want to calibrate this using the A axis and the B axis. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the cal low for the A axis and we'll get our mastering block back over here. And I want to make sure that I'm placing the TP probe in the master OSM block and aligning the master A axis in the low position. So I'll pull out the end pin here and rotate it to where I have low in the master A access position here. I will then insert the probe. I'm going to push this all the way back in here to make sure that it's a tight fit. And then I'll click on the sample button. <clears throat> it's then telling me that I need to move the master uh, a access to the high position. So I'll take a look at this. I'm going to pull the end pin out and I will rotate this to high. So high master A access. I'm then going to hold the gauge in tight, hit the sample button, and then I should be able to do the B access calibration now. So I click on the cal low button for this and it's telling me to please place the probe in the master OSM block and align the master B axis to the low position. So my B axis is up on the top here. I'm going to take this and rotate it. I'm going to make sure the probe is in there all the way. Hit the sample key. And then I'm going to rotate this from the low to the high now. So i got high master B axis sample it. Okay, so that takes care of my A and B now. So now I need to zero this probe out. So to do that, I'm going to pull this out of here. I'm going to get the master bushing. Slide the probe all the way in. Click on the zero master function here. And then sample this. Once I do that, calibration is then complete, and you should see in the testing window here that we now have zero for the A axis and zero for the B axis. The last step we need to do is click on the update button to send this information from the base back down to the probe. 
And once we do that, we can close out the window using the red X. Okay. You'll notice that the probe begins to flash, indicating that the save was successful and it's turning itself off right now. And then we can close down the program and get ready to go out and take measurements.